ASA Live. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. I host all sorts of magical themed dinner parties and post all the recipes on therosetable.com. And one of my all time favorites was my haunted mansion party. I'm gonna show you how to make two super quick haunted mansion recipes. But first, let me show you how I decorated the dining room for Disney dinners, haunted mansion. First, we have to talk about my happy haunts. I used my Atmos FX projector, the same one that I used to project fireworks at Disney dinners, Snow White and my Cinderella ball to project dancing skeletons in my dining room. I was so excited about this because my favorite scene in the ride is the dining room scene where the ghosts are dancing around the dining room table. To transform the rest of my dining room into my very own haunted mansion, I hung black tattered fabric around the room, tilted my existing art and covered paintings with spider webs, added a large tombstone in the doorway and added a few haunted touches to my side table. I used indoor floodlights to wash the walls with purple and green lighting, which made a huge difference in the atmosphere. I styled the table with a black tablecloth and threw together a 10 cent runner using as one small piece of spiderweb stretched out. I wanted the antique look of the dining room scene in the ride, so I used a silver candelabra, silver chargers, my silver cups from my Kentucky Derby party, purple napkins, beautiful black rose napkin rings, and small votive candles at each place. I styled two floral arrangements with purple alstroemeria, green hydrangeas for the cast members' costumes, and white roses for the creepy bride in the ride. Oh, and did you notice a small crystal ball on the table for Madame Leota? And remember, this is what it looked like during the actual party because of all of the beautiful lighting. So let's make my ghost and coffin hand pies. These are so easy. It's just three ingredients and an egg wash. I'm gonna start by rolling out a pie crust. You want it just a little bit thinner than how it comes. And now I'm just gonna cut out little ghosts. You could do all or one. We're gonna do ghosts and coffin. And remember, you need two for each hand pie. So keep that in mind. You need an even number. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little piece of brie cheese right in the center. Now you don't wanna overfill these. And now over the brie, we're just gonna spoon your favorite jam. I'm using a raspberry jam here because I think it's fun that it's like a little bloody, you know, for Halloween. Look how fast and easy, oh my goodness. We're almost done with these already. Now to seal these, we're just gonna brush a little bit of water on the edge of our top crust. Then we're gonna set that right on top. We'll grab a little fork and then you're just gonna press it in to seal, just like that. Do this very carefully. That looks good. Now I'm just going to brush all of my little hand pies with some beaten egg. And then we're gonna bake these at 350 for about 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. While our hand pies are baking, we're going to make the perfect Haunted Mansion cocktail, the Foolish Mortal. This is one of the most popular recipes on the rose table and for good reason, because we're using dry ice and what is more fun than that? So first we're gonna start off with three ounces of pineapple juice. Perfect. This is so quick to make. Three ounces of Midori. This is Japanese melon liqueur, absolutely delicious. And yes, it's shockingly green. And then half an ounce of Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. This stuff makes everything taste better. Let me give that a little stir. And then I've got some dry ice here. If you have not ever used dry ice before, I highly recommend reading the How to Use Dry Ice Safely article on therosetable.com. I'm just gonna use tongs to grab a chunk of dry ice and wait for the magic to happen. Are you ready? It gets me every time. How magical is that? Now that is a Haunted Mansion cocktail. Oh, so fun. Now with this, you have about 10 minutes of this fabulous spooky smoking effect. And you can see the dry ice actually drops to the bottom of the glass. And after the smoke evaporates, then your dry ice should be fully evaporated. You can always lift the glass to make sure that the dry ice is gone, should be fully evaporated from your drink, and then it's ready to go. What I love about this too is that the dry ice super chills your drink. <sighs> How cute are these? There's 999 ghosts, but there's always room for one more. See all of my Disney dinners on therosetable.com. Be sure to follow The Rose Table on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. And for more dinner inspiration, be sure to check out my cookbook at cookbook.therosetable.com. So 
celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.